Yeah. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Aditya's channel where we talk about real estate and free financial freedom. Yay! Yay. <laughs> So today I'm back again with another before and after renovations home tour. I'm really excited about this property in particular because you know when I bought it, it was a four bedroom one bath home, a single family home detached, that's it. Now we converted into a four bedroom two bath on the main floor and we added a legal additional unit in the basement, two bedroom one bath. Now it's turned gorgeous, but I haven't done anything here because my wife and my business partner are the one who actually handled this whole project so today i have them so they're ready to show us the tour let's knock and get in and see the property hi aditya hello hello Come hello in. are you guys ready to show Always us ready. the video tour of course we are Come perfect in. okay so from here, I'll hand over to the beautiful ladies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, if you don't know who is she, probably you have to follow me more. <laughs> she is my beautiful wife and my business partner, Raman. If you haven't seen her, make sure to check out other videos. We have a lot of videos how she achieved financial freedom, like making literally 6,000 cash flow from her three other properties. So, Raman, thank you so much for joining us with the tour. No problem, Aditya. My pleasure. Please so, take it in. Okay, so come on in. So, I I think you already talked about how data this house was. Yeah. So, we literally um, had to take all these walls out to give it a more open layout. Yeah. So, now as you see, it looks more modern more open so we actually took there was a whole big wall in here with a pocket door and the same thing was here so we literally took everything out here and then open it up and now it's bringing in more lights yeah to go with the flow so we picked a nice light colors light floors light tiles white tiles and then also we changed all the light fixture to give it a more modern look yeah, that's a big part right like especially when you're improving any older home yeah. to make it a modern the biggest things are like light fixtures paint and flooring those are like big key if you see in this house it just make it look so bright yeah and then yeah. it just make a huge difference actually. and also like Thank you for working hard. Even <laughs> put your sweetie kitty outside. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> we actually didn't realize it's gonna be that hard. Yeah. We spent three days, but we thought it's gonna be done in like one, one day. day. One day, we <laughs> in one day, and it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. But so it uh, took three days. It turned out nice. Yeah. Yeah. They took three days, yeah. and with yeah. the labor, two other laborers yeah. plus themselves yeah. as the laborers, working hard. did yeah. the whole landscaping. Yeah. And still, of course, some more work pending. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more work pending, yeah. but uh, we'll get there. Yeah. So why do you think the landscaping is important? I think landscaping is really, really important because it just, as you can see, it's just changed the look of the whole house and make it look more cleaner, more it's more appealing, basically. Yeah. And when you're going for reappraisal, definitely it's yep, going to add the value. value point of view, yeah, right? It's going to add a couple thousand dollars, maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars yeah, to the easy. value easily. So yeah. yeah, and also like you know the tenants, right? Like because our plan yeah. is to keep this place rented for a good family. So when they're if they're impressed, like first impression is always the best impression, right? Exactly. They get the first impression when we're, they're walking into the property. Now they can see at least feel clean. Yeah. Feel clean and that will attract a tenants for sure. Yeah. Like you know you don't want to rent it out to like you know yeah. any fishy tenants. So yeah. like it's yeah. definitely so for a family now. Yeah. Exactly. Come in. We got like some really impressive things in this property to show you guys. Arjun! Yeah? What are you doing? Drawing Disney. <laughs> Disney drawing. Man, beautiful. How do you like that fireplace? It's good. I like how it changes to different colors. Oh, yeah. Can you show us how, how many colors it changes? Purple. 
this uh, oh. ice color oh you got to hold oh, for a second yeah and this orange. is orange oh wow too and many colors yeah and this is and blue blue so we took the whole thing out and then we installed like really this beautiful modern fireplace here which is like really a focal point yeah. of this living okay. area now. We think it's beautiful but what do you really think? <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, it's, it gives it you the thumbs up and down. Yeah, or down. Yeah. Or you know, if you could have find another better one, put a picture in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what did you do with this live picture? Yeah, so... As you can see, like, you know, people have different preferences. So some people like the bright colors, some people like to have like a low colors yeah. at night time. So we gave all the options in here. So this light actually changed colors to three different shades now. So if you turn it on, the first one is like a really bright white color, which goes well with all the white lights in the house. Yeah. Or if you don't like that one, so you have another option. Oh. This is yellow. <laughs> if you want to have a candle light like dinner at night, Either, so you can have a little bit of less yes. bright shade. So we are giving all the options to the tenants yes. so they can pick and choose. Can I be my own tenant? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is like, like, you can pay the money and you can stay here. <laughs> I, I was surprised because I have seen this just literally Arjun was showing me. I'm like <laughs> It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, it's just like giving us more options, but n not necessarily. We didn't spend any more money on it. Yeah, we found a really good deal. So. Yeah, that's another thing, right? Like for when you're doing renovations, it's not about how much money you're spending. The va actual price is more like a standard price. It's a standard price. You just yeah. need to have patience to like, do some research. And, you have and to that's, look. Where, yep. that's where I had uh, our partner <laughs> and also Mamta, like, no, I, I will give credit for the lights, 100% credit to the yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So you need to have a person, at least if you don't know, have your spouse or someone who can handle that part. Like yeah. literally it's just Googling, searching, yeah. looking for the better options, right? Yeah, yeah I love it. It will take time, but uh, once you find the product what you're looking for, it just like it pays off, you know? Yeah. So. You know that makes finding the people to live in this place yep. and pay the dollar top dollar oh, definitely. becomes much easier exactly yeah and these are the little things which will make you get to yeah higher rents for yeah. sure exactly you know? another thing that i'm really excited about this one like you know this property like i mentioned earlier it was only there was only one bathroom and there are four bedrooms and it's a good size like almost 16 1700 square feet house on the main floor was only one washroom so we tried to find a way to put another second washroom here literally this living room was pretty huge i'm, I'm glad like that washroom fit in perfectly uh, it just blended in actually yeah. so it looks and like it still, was always there exactly and we still have a huge living area yeah. so if you can find a way to add washrooms especially when there is deficiency right like four bedroom one bath is not a good sign a lot of people expect to have second washroom because that can be a guest washroom and they can have a personal washroom so it does add a lot of value personally yeah oh definitely like it will add value and then make people's life easier as well because yeah. now you have more best washroom to use in the house yeah, yeah. okay I'll check so out the here gorgeous we come to our kitchen area now it's a beautiful kitchen this is one of my favorite favorite things <laughs> <laughs> i was asking aditya to update our kitchen to uh, <laughs> the same one same one this uh pantry cabinets and everything yeah this is my favorite one so we house. had a custom pantry made in here yeah. uh for the kitchen and surprisingly the we didn't spend that a lot of yeah. money on the kitchen actually yeah. but as you can see these are all soft closing pantry doors very heavy and sturdy and it looks amazing and had tons of room in here and appliances yeah uh, as you can see here um, we added all brand new stainless steel appliances um, like initially we thought of using the used ones but after looking all the finishes and everything it was like if we add the uh, just adding the stainless steel appliances it will add more value and we don't have to replace them repair them uh, like for 10 years we have warranty and we really got a good good deal on these appliances how much was the appliances to install in one kitchen 
um, at all? Approximately. So it's like total to for full house yeah. we paid around five thousand yeah. two hundred. So Literally yeah. 2600 per mm -hmm. kitchen, yeah. and we got like stainless steel dishwasher, exhaust, fridge, yeah, stove, mo modern, <laughs> modern, range hood, yeah. modern range hood, and yeah. also the back supplies. And not to mention, we have the full sink in here, Whoa. it's yeah. a deep, extra large sink with the cutting board and uh, you know, stainer built in. So, yeah. this is like a really uh, nice feature sometimes this is the times where i feel oh my god now i gotta update my house kitchen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th how do you guys like this kitchen would you mind living here you want to be our tenant <laughs> let us know in the comments okay let's continue the journey okay so if you noticed in the bedrooms and wash most of the layout we haven't touched the layout like we haven't took any walls or out anything Pretty much we kept the same layout but we made exact same flooring throughout kitchen washroom uh, bedrooms and everywhere yeah and one uniqueness about this flooring it has like extra padding that reduce the noise so the basement literally like you don't hear that much noise at all and of course we had to do some legal insulation yes and extra drywall on top of it the flooring itself also avoid reduces the noise much so it's like what's it called it's a sound proofing uh, padding they added under the laminate floor so mm. which helped reduce all these footsteps and extra noises yeah it's little extra cost but again you know especially that is where your you know what's your goal with this project right like for us we want to keep it for the long run yeah and we don't want to hear any tenants complain so yeah we <laughs> no don't want to we don't want to get calls in the midnight saying my upper unit tenant is is jumping kid <laughs> is jumping and running and walking exactly <laughs> so yeah and, and uh, here's our beautiful main bathroom as you can see everything is bright and beautiful in this bathroom and it's huge and i just want to show you this is my favorite part in the whole bathroom is the the light fixtures and uh, the mirror we actually pick and also we install these custom floating shelves in the bathrooms which is make it look more beautiful and modern little touches little touches but again it makes a huge difference and as you can see like you know uh, the light has a golden and black shade in it so we match the mirror and uh, also the the faucet and the, everything else in here is black to go along you know, at least that's what we think what do you think <laughs> <laughs> that's what we think but i would love to hear your feedback yep. because you know we, this is something that we spent hours and hours thinking you know oh this color will look good this color will you know doesn't good and of course raman spent like a lot more hours in shopping those light fixtures because finding those light fixtures were not easy yeah and that's pretty much on the main floor let's check out the basement because that's another part like another gorgeous place like i don't mind living in that basement so come on this is another place where we had a lot of hustle uh, literally this was a nice uh, a sunroom so if you look at here initially the door we want to just don't want to have this doors like wall separate we just want to have the entrance one entrance and have two d d different doors one going upstairs one going downstairs but the city unfortunately they did not allow us like we tried Raman fought for it but they, they, they didn't sometimes you know hey we we gave up on the sunroom but at least we made a, a laundry here a nice laundry room here yeah, yeah. let's go to the basement this is awesome. we have like the beautiful basement suite so Welcome we have a two basement. bedroom one bathroom very spacious um and as you can see the same cabinet in here with the custom uh pantry on the side and the same backsplash the only difference is upstairs we have charcoal color and here we are using white to make it a little bit lighter because it's basement mm -hmm. but uh, again the brand new appliances yeah. saying same faucet everything is exactly the same and we forgot to mention one more thing we added blinds brand yes. new blinds <laughs> yep yeah each window has a custom yeah. brand new blinds as well so yeah personally i'm not a huge fan of 
providing blinds for the tenants for for this house after doing all this luxury finishes <laughs> i said you know what it's okay let's give because now we have a good chance of getting good people who appreciate our hard work right yeah. like you know how our um, love into this property few things that you know were in this basement that what i was kind of a little bit uh, wanted we applied for the city to do it actually two bedroom two bath and there is a requirement they only allowed us x amount of square footage ramon what was the maximum square foot they allowed us so the maximum square feet for the basement is unfortunately 1000 square feet so that's my most like you know pet peeve in here we have to turn that part into a closet which is we can use it right now yeah because of the space limit so the square feet limit actually um other than that like you know yeah we still have like a pretty good area actually but uh, <laughs> we ended up covering that side of the ha- the the basement because the city didn't allow us yeah so that's another part like even though our basement size was bigger um we have more than enough space to make another washroom but unfortunately because they limited us to the 2000 square feet um it's like you know 40% of the total cover uh, usage area yes that's what they allow so that's that came down to 1000 square feet yeah so each doesn't matter how much space actually we have upstairs so a city will not allow you to have basement more than 1000 square feet so that's how I was told so yeah so just check with the city make sure you know you're with their guidelines and that's where you got to compromise on the second washroom but still look at even even though we have only one washroom we made it gorgeous again same same light fixtures that we used upstairs same kind of you know style nice clean vanity and hand picked to each mirror <laughs> yeah ramans hand picked to mirrors yeah and also i would like to mention that in basement both bedrooms has egress windows and we also added extra egress window in the living area as well we didn't need to have this in there but we added it for extra safety so yeah that's another thing right like city has a x amount of like city need the basement need to have x amount of lights and two egress windows in the bedrooms was giving enough light into the basement but we wanted like you know have more lighting in the living area as well yeah so it's extra cost but again that's where you know it's it's up to you your personal choice how far you want to go how much money you want to spend personally we said you know what we'll do it because it adds at least a little bit more uh, sunlight to the basement yep and the basement has a tons of storage yeah. so yeah. that's not going to be a problem whoever is going to yeah. live here so we have extra full yeah. storage here and we have a mechanical room with the laundry yep. separate laundry and this is another thing we got a separate laundry for each unit so they don't have to fight for the laundry and they got separate hot water tank because we have separate hydro meters and separate water meters only for this is the common thing but of course we share 60 40 whatever and we even install some pump and backflow valve because city is giving some grants why not utilize it and make your basement solid so if you see there and solidly insulated so the heating bills will be much lower um yeah and they don't have to fight for the laundry we have two bedrooms in here so i'll show you the extra master bedroom extra large in here we have huge uh, area for master bedroom so this this can be used as a sitting area then we have like huge windows in this bedroom as you can see multiple windows uh-huh. and then we have a um, closet in here and then the bed can go on this side so there is like it's tons of space in this master bedroom so there are literally four windows yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was not necessary only thing is they were already there that's why we didn't bother removing because you know people love to have windows in the basement especially because it's a basement yep and, and it will make it so yeah. bright because we have extra and if you guys noticed check we how many pot lights we have in there because it's a basement we didn't put the light fixture the bigger light fixtures we just put pot lights and we added a lot of them so that's why you see nice and bright even though it's a basement 
of course still a lot more work in progress just the exterior part is cleaning up and all but look at this biggest thing what we really love about this property is this wide lot it's 133 by 112 112 yeah. so there is a good chance for us to sever this side of lot and on top of it the existing house along with that we have 1100 square feet garage that we can easily rent for four five hundred dollars and it's heated hydro both we have hydro and heat so it's easy to rent that part for someone you know to store their stuff and all yeah, so that's pretty much it the tour guys Raman thank you so much no and problem my Manta, pleasure thank you so uh, honestly I want to thank this beautiful women because you know not only just beautiful they work so hard <laughs> so say thank you for Mamta and Raman in the comments for help for helping me to make this project happen no problem our pleasure <laughs> yeah so guys let us know how do you guys like did this before and after renovations tour and we'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about you know numbers and also another video will be coming up talking about of course we only showed the beautiful things we'll be talking about challenges you know there were some major challenges which faced in this project so we'll be talking in the next video until then see you later have a wonderful day bye bye, bye.